Sarah here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. I am officially back from vacation and I'm so excited to paint with you. So y'all jump on and say hi and tell me what you were up to while I was gone. If you're brand new and this is your first time watching, we are on our final part of a three-part series. Hello, Rachel. And we are doing um, the flip-flop. This template is on sale for $2.50 through the end of the month. Um, we are going to have a new template come up July 1st, so be watching for that. If you missed it, thank you, Rachel. Last week, um, or two weeks ago, I should say, uh, on Business Tip Tuesday, uh, or sorry, my brain is fried. On Creative Tip Thursday, I um, showed you how to use poster board to uh, keep your templates so that you can um, more easily trace them onto your wood. Yay! I'm so excited. Guys, y'all make me feel so good. I'm so glad y'all have y'all jumped on. I was really thinking since I was gone last week that like I was going to come back to crickets today. And I really wanted to chat because like lots of stuff happened. And we had a lot of fun and we went horseback riding and it was crazy. Anyway, so if you missed that, um, these videos are up on in the video section of the Facebook page. And I am, guys, I'm so excited to paint. It has been a hot minute since I picked up a paintbrush. And y'all know, like, painting for me is like therapy. And um, in our membership, like, that's, that's, that's my push is like, guys, like you need this for yourself. And so I need it for me. I need it for me. I did want to show you this super adorable caddy that I found, which I think I might go live one day and paint because I want to make it fun and pretty. But I have, okay, let me just show y'all what this looks like. I have like all these little bins and they all have different things in them on my desk. And I thought, you know, uh, I don't know if this will fit. No, that won't fit in there. But I thought, you know, I could um, use this instead. And I could paint it and make it super cute. Thank y'all. I'm so glad I'm back too. I am very glad to be home. Um, okay, so we are going to continue with our flip-flop. I did this one in kind of a vintage painting. Like kind of uh, like some of my stuff, which I just took all my signs next door. But some of my stuff is like super, um, oh, how do I say it? Like, sorry, my puppy wanted up. Uh, crisp. My lines are crisp. My, uh, anyway, this is not like that. This is more vintagey and more rustic. So I like to show you all different types of or like different techniques to paint. Um, and so that's why I did this one this way. Because the last couple that I've done have been like, precise and bold and um, just really crisp and this one is not like that so if you missed the first couple um, videos just go back and watch them and you can catch up and grab this template uh, for two dollars and fifty cents through the end of the month and if you're a member it's a dollar twenty five so okay so I'm gonna get started I have on my um, my Casey Hope shirt today. This is what she says. Hey, hey, y'all. All right, so I'm going to get my red, and I'm actually going to mix some. I might regret this, but y'all know I like to just play around. I'm going to mix some black with it, like a tiny, tiny bit. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Uh -oh. I've got a puppy in my lap. He's scared. He's, he's um, here and stuff, so he's... He's nervous this morning. Okay, I'm gonna put black in another little cup. Now friends, this one has been well used uh, and I probably have more sitting around here. Actually, I have more right here. <laughs> yes, he jumped up, he wanted me. But um, I just keep using them until I'm like, oh, okay, that's enough. It's got like 16 layers of paint. All right, this is the blue that I used. It is, oh, I didn't tell you the red. The red is true red and it is the gloss. Friends, if you're new to acrylic painting and you're painting door hangers, gloss covers so much better than matte, just red. Okay, so I only buy gloss in red 
Um, I haven't tried it in other colors, but red is a color that used to take me like 12 coats and now I can do it in one or two. So gloss red, apple barrel and the deco art are great. That one's deco art true red. And then I've got this, which is cobalt blue. And that's what I used. I kind of, um, I don't want to say watered it down. I kind of muted it with the white so that it wasn't so bold um, to make it more of that vintage, almost like a denim, like a blue jean look to it. Uh, but I did use cobalt and this is the craft essentials from Michaels. And I'm going to put some of this in a cup. And I'm going to use just a little bitty paintbrush, the back of it, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that black, and I'm gonna sit here and kinda mix that black into this red to make it a darker red. Now when I say I just barely did it, like I, I literally just stuck the very tip into um, the, the black, and I wish I had, I should have shown you before I started, but it just makes it a darker red so that I can um, use that for accents. I thought about doing black and I may end up doing that, but I wanted to experiment with the, um, uh -oh, with the black in the red and the black in the blue. So you're like black and blue. All right. So I've got my same paintbrush and guys, this is really little and I just dip in the black Okay, just got a little bit on there, and now I am mixing in to the blue. Now the blue might need a little bit more, but I'm just trying to get it darker so I can use these as accent colors. So let me do one more dip in the blue. So it's one more. Let me go in. Ooh, yeah, I like that. And if you're brand new, I have my Spinny Sue underneath me with a, uh oh, with um, a microfiber towel laying across it. So this is my Lazy Susan um, that Elizabeth Molly nicknamed our Spinny Sue, and I love her to pieces. That's the best name ever. But um, pro tip is if you're painting one that's already painted on the other side, like I do, I have, I do a lot of reversible signs. You want to lay um, a microfiber towel down so that it doesn't get scratched up. Because even if you seal it, you can still scratch it up. Thank you. I'm so glad to be back, guys. Um, I'm going to Texas in a couple weeks, and I'll be gone. But I'm hoping to be able to go live from there. So if the internet's good enough, um, I won't be completely MIA for those couple of weeks. But we're going to go see some family and do some fun stuff. And um, anyway, we're just trying to enjoy summer. Okay, so now that I've mixed in my container, I have a darker blue now because I added black. I have a darker red that I added black. Friends, same exact red, same exact blue. So that you keep them in the color, in the same color family, I, um, I added black to the original colors because reds have all different undertones, blues have all different undertones. So in order to stay with that same, um, like the base, colors so that it doesn't look weird. Um, I like to add black or white to get my additional colors. Okay, uh, and then I have black over here. I probably should squirt some white. Uh, I think I'll wait. Okay, so I'm going to, hello Tanya. Oh, what do I seal with? Ah, this is what I seal with. Now, I love the gloss. This is the Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Cover. Um, this is an ultra clear, but it is the gloss, and it is UV resistant and non-yellowing and fast drying. Do it outside, though. You don't want to do it in the house. Okay, so let's see. I am super shaky today, so this could go really badly um, when I start accenting with my trimmer. So uh, let me. I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna let my elbow touch the painting. And I'm just going to kind of drag um, an accent line all the way around. Now, it's not going to be like super defined because remember this, this one is more, um, more rustic. I just want to define that edge so that we know where the, what do you call it, where the 
the pieces come together. I don't know, the flip flop. Now I am resting my hand, my, I'm resting my finger so that I can get a little bit. Um, no, I do not seal the blank first, but just so I can get a little bit more control because I am shaking really bad this morning. I am resting my hand down and I'm kind of dragging slowly, okay? Let me show you the, I mean, we're not, we're not trying to get a, a really bold, but can y'all see just that it almost gives it like a shot. Oh, sorry. It almost gives it like a shadow look underneath. All right. Oh. Um, I seal after I paint it. Yes. Um, thank you. I tried it. Polly, it smeared the pot. Yes. I have read Nicole the seam. Yes. I've read Nicole that you cannot use poly over Posca pens, that you can only use the spray. Now, you may be able to use a light coat of spray and then try poly. I don't know, uh, but th that's a thought. Thank you, Kathy. I missed you too. We did have a good time though. It was nice. My, um, my husband hadn't been able to see his parents in three years just because we live so far away now. And he was able to go with us. Dimension. There you go. Bevica. See, my brain is fried. I appreciate y'all. All right. So, today we are just adding dimension. So, friends, I'm, I'm literally just going along these. Um... <gasps> okay, Sharon says, yes, you can spray and then poly. I'm literally just going along these edges so that I can make the straps and the border stand out. Thank y'all for chiming in on that because um, it's not something that I've tried. I'll be honest with you. So I paint so many signs that end up hanging up in doors on the studio wall next door that I um I usually spray them with a thin coat of this, but unless they're gonna go on my front door, which I mean I've got so, so many signs I can't put them all on my front door. Unless they're gonna go on my front door, they usually don't get um, a heavy coat. I just do a light spray. Now, if it's for a customer, obviously I'm going to spray that thing a couple times. Diane, I'm so glad that you are joining us live today too. Okay, friends, I want to show you. You see how that just adding that little bit brings um, that flip-flop strap to life. It just it just adds dimension, like Bevica said. All right, so I'm going to do this last one. Uh-oh, you know what? I messed up. I need to go this way. I can't set my arm down and go that way because there's wet paint. So let's do it this way. I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be back. If y'all missed the first two. Oh, um, if you missed the first two in this series, they are in the video section on the Facebook page. You can go back and watch. And through the end of the month, like I said, the template is half off. It will be full price again starting July 1st because we will have a new one. Yes, Mackenzie says um, glitter. Okay, so let me go back up. What paintbrushes, girl? Okay, so I did a business, uh -huh. my brain is fried. I did a creative tip Thursday on paintbrushes a few weeks ago. And I would highly recommend if you're wondering what paintbrushes to use, check that out. Now, everyone has their own personal preference, but there's a whole blog post about it at kinsleyscreativepalette.com. Um, what hanger do I use? I use wire. They, I do have, I do keep a staple gun uh, in the studio in case someone prefers that, but I like to use wire for mine. So then I can just literally like, I mean, it's gonna hang either way. Um, Ooh, I don't know the exact measurements. Probably 20-ish by 18-ish, I would guess. Okay. 
but the template um, will print the, the size, the same size. And this is a, just a really small paintbrush. And friends, up close, like these lines are not perfect, but we, um, this sign was supposed to be more vintage looking anyway, so that's not a big deal. Do you use a drill? Yes, I drill my holes. I have, um, and it's in my Amazon affiliate store, my favorite drill sander um, jigsaw set is um, Ryobi. Now, if I'm cutting a bunch of signs, the Ryobi cordless is not going to cut it, so I switched to my Tecpo. But um, those are all in my Amazon store, so you can see the exact ones that I use. I don't have a lot of videos on bows. That's something I need to work on. Um, you can look possibly on my uh, YouTube channel. You may find some of my old bow videos. With bows, I kind of feel like there's like two or three different kinds, and once I've done a video on them, like they're they're the same. So I tend to just do more painting videos. But I believe on my YouTube channel there's some bows. Okay, look how cute, friends. How adorable is that? Like you see how it still looks. Blue, I like blue jeans, um, but it has that outline by just adding black or a tiny bit of black to my other colors. Do you have any video? I do sell blank wood um, pieces. They're all at kinsleyscreativepalette.com. You click shop and then blank wooden, blank door, door hanger blanks, I think is what it says. All right, so I'm gonna wash, oh, I forgot a spot, I think. Yep, I did. Let me do a little bit more on here. So I am just finishing this up. Oh no, I, I did that part. Let me do a little bit more though. But yeah, the blanks um, are on my website. Yay, thank y'all. I'm gonna get this. I think this one is going on my front door as soon as it's it's done. I painted the um, USA truck, and then I did the USA sign inside of our membership. And um, so this is the third patriotic sign I've painted this year. And like I'm gonna be kind of sad when I'm done with patriotic and I move on to other. Because I love the red, white, and blue. What's everybody up to today? If you asked a question and I missed it, yes, the USA trucks um, on my website, Kinsley's Creative Palette.com. You um, go to shop and templates. Um, I think it says like wooden door hanger templates, and it will be there. The USA truck turned out super cute, but yes. The only template that's on sale, my templates don't ever go on sale. Um, they're, I keep them on sale for my members. They get 50% off. And so that's kind of just a perk to being um, in the membership. And so the only one that's on sale is the one that we're painting this month. It's kind of like our featured template. And it's the first time we've ever offered a sale on templates. So this one is $250 just for the... Um, month of June. And then in July, we have a new template coming, which is going to be a beach scene. And I did a beach scene inside of our membership. Oh, 
I love the Just Mary truck. Didn't you love that? Um, oh, that's so fun. So I did that one, but this one is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be, that one was more like relaxing and grown up. Like it had the lounge chair, the, um, one that we're going to do live next month, and it'll be a three part series again, is going to be a, um, more fun, like more fun and colorful. It's going to have, um, a crab and a bucket and or like a sand bucket for kids and it's gonna have um what's coming out of it there's something coming out of the crab or out of the bucket anyway it's gonna be super cute I can't wait for it what kind of wood do I use I bought Um, okay, so I use Triply Underlayment or MDF, both of those in, it's about a quarter inch. I think the dimensions are slightly different when you look at them at the store. Um, now the Triply, they are calling something different right now. Um, I buy it at Home Depot. It's similar to Revolution Ply, but I wasn't a fan of the Revolution Ply. It, um, it's splintered really badly for me but um, you may use it and love it sir I'm having trouble reading that um, so I think it's Sarita you uh, can use a foam brush I don't ever base coat unless I'm going under red and in if I'm using the um, this red, the gloss, I don't really have to base coat. So, I don't usually base coat, but you can, absolutely. Bless you, Reddick. You're welcome. All right, friends, so I just went into my darker red. It's just a little bit darker. If y'all can see, I'm done, I've done this little part right here. I just wanna add dimension. I don't want it to be super, super bold. I just wanna add dimension. I probably could have added one more tiny drop of black. You know what, let me do that and see. Do you protect your sons? Yes. Rosa, this is what I use right here. I'm going to set that right, oh, we'll see. I'll set that right there so that y'all can see it while I mix this up. It is the Ultra Cover by Rust-Oleum. Yeah, I'm going to add one more tiny drop. Yep, that's better. Okay, so for my red and my blue, two tiny dabs of black ended up being better than one. Okay, so let me get back to painting. See the difference. Oh yeah, that's much better. So I'll go back over that other when um, it's dry. Remember if we if we put wet on wet, it blends. And so I don't want to blend it. I want to let it dry and then go over it. Now I am defining this flip-flop strap. Can y'all see the difference in that? Now... Mm, I'm trying to not put my hand in wet paint. You are very welcome. Mm, 
went too high on that. I'm going to, before it dries, I'm going to wipe it off. Yep, perfect. Okay, I went too high on that strap. Um, no, not Revolution. So I don't like the Revolution. I like the Triply from Home Depot. It's similar to the Revolution from Lowe's, but um, I like it better. But yes, Rosa, thank you so much for answering that. Um, my membership was never half price. Um, we Back in April, it was at a lower price, but it was never half price. But this template is half off this month. Let's see. That, that needs to go that way. So, Terry, I hope... I hope that that answers your question. But yeah, we did have a price increase if you didn't get in in April. When we reopen in September, it will be at the new price. You are welcome. Um, awesome. So for those of y'all that are like, what are you talking about? Um, I run a membership where I paint with my members. We um, have a new tutorial once a month and they get either a template or the door hanger mailed to them for that month. So it's like getting a project each month. Hello, Miss Faith. And we are currently closed. We reopen in September, but we do have a wait list on the website. And there's also a couple of free workshops on the website. Well, there's a workshop and then there's another free um, download, which is a paint mixing chart. So y'all are welcome to grab both of those. If you just go to Kinsley's creative palette.com, they're on the home page ready for you. You can just click there and get both of those resources. And friends, if you check out the blog, there's a ton of good information from my favorite paint pens to, um, creative tips that I've I've shown over the last several weeks. There's some full tutorials on there for different signs. Faith, it's okay that you're late. We are just finishing up this sign today. And I'm not, um, yes. And Terry, um, if you haven't taken the lettering workshop yet or downloaded that paint mixing chart, like go do that. Got the template, can't wait to, yay! Cindy. You are very welcome, Cindy. Very, very welcome. It was actually Amy, my VA's idea to do the um, whatever template we're painting to make it half off for the month because so many people join me and it's their first time and they're they're like, oh, I don't think I can do it. And really for um, $250, like it's kind of a no-brainer. Just try it. Hey Terry, on the website, just click at the top on the menu. It says blog and you can click through. So there's, I mean, there's a ton of information there. I um, also have a YouTube channel that has a ton of videos. So lots and lots of resources. Lots and lots. All right, I'm almost done with this. Let's see, yep, that looks right. Um, friends, remember when you are right up on your sign, a lot of times you're like, oh, I don't like the way that looks. It's not perfect. And then when you back away from it, you're like, oh, I did a great job. So just remember that no one is going to judge your sign from right here. They're going to be looking from the road or, you know, your driveway. So don't be so hard on yourself. 
best paints? Rosa, great question. I use all craft acrylics. I use all different brands. Um, I will say that when Anita's is on sale at Joann's, that's not Joann's, I'm sorry, at um, Hobby Lobby, that tends to be the best value is buying, I buy like the white, the black, the red. I like to mix my paints um, to make my own colors, which is why I provided the paint mixing chart as a free download because I would rather have, which I do have a lot of little bottles, but what I'm finding is I would rather have um, big bottles that I can easily, you know, mix and know I'm not going to run out because, and here's the reason, and this all, like this school of thought kind of came about during this whole pandemic. Friends, when you're out, when the stores are out of paint, if you have these big bottles and you can mix your own colors, uh, that just makes it so much easier. Hey Debbie, I plan on doing a video on that um, inside our membership um, in the next few weeks on how to ship a door hanger. Hello, Miss Kathy. I use Triply underlayment from Home Depot or MDF. Both of them are a uh, quarter inch. All right, friends, let's see how this looks. Uh, I'm trying to look at it from a slightly different angle so I can see where I need to add more accents. Okay. Now, here's my question for you. Would you be proud to hang that on your front door? Would you be proud to hang that on your front door? I would, I'm gonna be. Um, I am gonna do a few other accents, but for that, I'm gonna grab my Posca pins. And if you're like, what the heck is a Posca pen? Friends, it is like the Cadillac of paint marker. And they are in my Amazon affiliate store. They are amazing. Paints from getting thick. Bug paint boogers. Um, Chris, I I don't I don't get that a whole lot unless I've had a lot of temperature changes with them. Like all the paints that I keep in my drawer, which I don't know. I did a blog post about my favorite way to store your your paint supplies. Um, but all of these, like I don't really have that problem. Now at the studio, I tend to have that problem more because I travel with my paints, and so like temperature changes will make them dry out, or if somebody leaves the top open. But for my, um, for my actual, like the ones that I use myself, I guess because I keep the lids closed so much, um, that it doesn't, I don't really have that problem every now and then, but not much. Okay, so I've got my white Posca pen. I'm gonna prime it. Oh, I wanna show y'all. Yes, thank you. Okay, right, I wanna show y'all. You know, I told you that red, you wanna go with the gloss. I wanna show y'all this gloss. I don't know if the camera can catch it. Do y'all see that shine? Look at that shine. Like, I, it's so funny because every time I see this, and it's kinda hard, I mean, it's hard, it's dried. But every time I see this, it just looks wet. And I'm always like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my paint pen just, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna up and down with it, make sure that it's got paint flowing. It does. Friends, it's very important that you don't use your paint pens on wet paint if you don't wanna mess your tips up, okay? Now, I am going to keep my elbow loose and I'm going to gently add some accents to these stripes just to give them a little bit more dimension. Let's see, I'm gonna do one more right there. You can step back and look at it. Okay, let me show y'all that little bit of accents. And I mean, what did that take, like 10 seconds? Okay, let me show you. Y'all see, it just adds a little bit more dimension. Now I'm gonna go with my gray. Actually, I think I have a blue, but I don't know if it's primed. Let's see. So friends, I love Posca pens so much that I bought the, if I can find it, there it is. I bought the set of like all the different colors. 
And Cindy, they are in my Amazon affiliate store. They are the 5M or 2.5 something. I think they're called PC 5M. But um, you can look there. These are. Yeah, they don't. Um, this one. Oh, yeah, PC 5M. Yeah, that's the ones that I use. Now, they do have a smaller. Let me show you. Uh, I don't know where I put it. Anyway, they do have a smaller Posca that um, works really well too, but I use it for like lettering. Okay, so I've got gray, but I do have a blue here. So I think I might try the blue. So I need to prime it though, because I've not used the blue yet. But friends, like these Posca pens were not super cheap by any means, but they last forever if you take care of them. So like I said, do not paint do not use them on wet paint. You are very welcome, Miss Cindy. Oh, don't use them on wet paint or you'll mess up your tips. Now, I'm going to go just along the top left of my stars and add, I mean, I'm literally just adding like a quick line. And that's all I'm going to do with that. Put my pen back. See, guys, put the top on, put the pen back. And then your pencil will always be nice. Oh, that's, that one doesn't go in there. This one does. Okay. So, I will say I get this question a lot. And I want to answer it before it's even asked. Kara, I can't buy the, pa the big pack of Posca pens. Which pens do I need to start with? Okay, friends. You definitely need black and white. If you're not going to get anything else, get the PC5Ms in the black and white. Next up, I would say, if I can only pick one more, I would get the gray. Because that lets you add shadowing to lettering, to different areas. Like, I could go back and I could add shadows underneath these stars, which I'm not going to do because I, for me that's overkill. Um, but it, it does help you add shadowing. So if I could only have three, these are the three I would have. If I could only have two, these are the two I would have. And if I could only have one, this is the one I would have. I hope that that's helpful. Uh, honestly, I tell my friends, ask your husband, mother, whatever, like just tell them for Christmas, birthday, whatever holiday coming up, like, hey, I don't want flowers. I want Posca pins. So anyway, um, don't laugh at me. I know that that sounds ridiculous, but like they're worth it. They, they're amazing. Um, so I think I've got to call it in 20 minutes, but do y'all have any other questions? Uh, don't forget just through the end of the month, you can get this template for half off. These videos will stay up. Um, you can come back and paint them later, but don't forget to grab your template. Guys, there is so much information on the blog and if you have not already signed up for the, t the free workshop for lettering um, with templates, and I, I teach you how, because I do paint with a trimmer, I teach you how to letter with templates. Uh, and I also have a paint mixing chart download. Yes, a bouquet of Posca pens. Yeah, look at this. Okay, we, we need to do that. Now, let me pick all my favorite colors. Oh, gosh. Okay. Look. Look at that fun bouquet of Posca pens. Let's add some more to it. <laughs> it's not silly. But guys, these are seriously, they're like the Cadillac paint markers. So get yourself some Posca pens. And I hope that you all have a fabulous rest of your week. I will, <laughs> Diane, I love you. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to lie, like I, after being gone last week, I was like, oh, my people aren't going to be there because I didn't show up last week. So thank you for showing up and thank you for telling me that I'm your favorite to watch. Um, I am genuinely 100% crazy in me all the time. Um, and I will say that this uh, going live every week is a stretch for me because I tend to, uh, gosh, I tend to kind of hide um, in burrow. Um, I'm, I'm a partial introvert uh, unless I get to know you real well. And so um, I sh it, it's hard for me, but it's so exciting to see that it makes a difference. Yes, Cindy, that is the right bouquet. 
Um, Debbie, the next opening is in September, but friends, I need y'all to hear me say this. I need you to hear me say this. I need y'all to hear me say this. Who's listening? Go do the free lettering workshop. If you haven't done it, go do it. Just, I'm just saying, if you're asking me when we open next, um, thank you, Becky. Um, what, wait, wait, Sharon, there's brush Poscas? Diane, thank you, love. Um, but if you have not done it, you're asking me, hun, when do you reopen? You need to go do the lettering workshop on the main page. Becky, I am sorry that I missed you today. Thank you so much. We had a fabulous vacation. Um, it was kind of quick. We got to see lots of family. My husband hadn't seen his parents or brothers, sisters, all that in um, over three years. Um, Terry, did you get the emails after? Um, did you get the emails after it? You're so welcome. Um, but he hadn't seen his parents in over three years. We hadn't seen his brother in probably five and his sister in like 10. And so we got to hang out with their kids. And my son was, um, my son was like with my, with his uncle, my husband's brother. Like they would stay out till like midnight watching Star Wars and Transformers. And it was so much fun. And my daughter got to hang out with my sister-in-law has four girls and they're older. Well, one of them is a year younger than Kin or a couple weeks younger than Kinsley, but they got to hang out and swim and it was just really, really nice. Um, it was way too quick, but it was really nice. So thank you. But I am glad to be back. We went horseback riding. We did the water park. We did, um, Dollywood, which was kind of strange, you know, with the whole masks and like less people and less, ri it was just different, but we made the most of it, and um, we love going to Gatlinburg, so that was awesome. And guys, next month, starting July 1st, we will be painting the beach scene. Um, it's different than the one I did in the membership, so if you're a member and you're like, well, I've already done that, it's different. It's more, um, I don't know, to me, it's, it's more fun. It's got, um, instead of the other one being like relaxing and soothing and like your beach chair and the sunset, this one is more playful and fun. So we have like a beach bucket or this, you know, sand bucket and um, tree. So join us for that. That template will be half off starting July 1st. I appreciate y'all. Have a fabulous day. Bye friends.